just to give you a bit more of an overview as to where I am and what I'm doing. This is the old town here. You can see the fortress walls around the old town. Here's the river and then my apartment somewhere about here. Well, the walls and uh, the fortress doesn't just extend round the old town, it also extends all the way up the mountains and it weaves up here and there's part of the wall there coming down the, uh, the left side on the map. So that's what I'm doing, I'm heading into the old town, I'm coming to around about there and then I'm starting to weave my way, there's a church there and then weave my way up towards the castle which is way up there at the top. So begins the hike. Eight euros to get through the gate and for that you get 1,350 steps. I'll pass the Church of Our Lady halfway up and right at the top somewhere up there is St John's Fortress. Yes indeed getting higher incredible views that's where I've just come from I think we're coming up to the first stop the halfway point which is the Church of Our Lady made it to the tiniest of churches it's accessible only by the trail that I'm following it is just as small on the inside as it looks on the outside it's a Roman Catholic Church and it was built just over 500 years ago. Check out this entrance. Could be part of a fairy tale looking out over the bay like this. There's the steps I'm following in the foreground. Looking over the port, pretty standard to see a cruise liner in town. It was there yesterday when I arrived. So I'm getting really close now. These are the ruins of the abandoned part of the fortress that's up here. Fell into disrepair quite a few years ago. Let's go and see what's out here before we go up any further. Yeah, terrific view, stunning. While I'm up here as well, I should say that the hike that I abandoned yesterday was to, well, what you can do, you can actually walk from here. So you walk right until the, you can see the zigzag road in the top right corner of the picture. You, you can walk there or you can park there and then you hike up the mountain to a fortress at the top and then you hike along I think it's about four miles along and you hike right up until that peak there in the center of the shot now that's where I'm hopefully going tomorrow that's on the agenda move from yesterday to tomorrow here we go look at this a little bridge built that leads over into that part of the tower the floor in there is completely gone and destroyed the first floor that is a little bit nervous to actually step on it I know it's going to be plenty strong enough but you never know here we go it's down in the bay again can't stop looking at that view that's just incredible so there you can see some of the ruins of the fortress just below me now in like a defensive tower at the moment great view they would have had over the the bay of incoming enemies 
This place is crumbling after years of neglect. Gonna try my luck at climbing up these. That is one steep set of steps. So this way now, through this little hole. I think this is the right way anyway. It's gone quiet. There we go. Oh, there we are. Right. Oh, there we go. Onwards and upwards. So I'm approaching the top of what is called St. John's Fortress. Built hundreds of years ago to defend the old town of Kotor. It is close to a thousand feet in altitude. I think I've just climbed the last of the 1,350 steps up to this castle. The, uh, the sun behind me doesn't set for another hour and a half, but you can, you maybe can see that the mountains are so huge around here, it's probably going to slip behind them in about 20 minutes. Uh, the whole of Kator Bay is already in shadow from that huge mountain across the bay. I'm uh, making my way back down to the old town now. I've got about a 45 minute hike, I reckon. I'm probably gonna get down there when it gets dark. It's, uh, it's quarter to seven now, so the sunset about 20, 25 minutes ago. In any event, it's been a great day. It's been a great trip to come up here and have a, a closer look at this magnificent fortress and fortress wall. So uh, without any further ado, I think before I need the iPhone torch, Better make a sharp exit in that direction, I think, down towards the old town. So those 1,350 steps that I walked up to get to the fortress, I'm now walking back down again. I also found out up there that the walls began being built in the 9th century and lots of different empires have ruled this area and they've kind of added to the wall. Even in the 19th century, they were still adding bits and pieces to this wall to really fortify it and they were still using it, of course, at that time. In any event, I'm heading back down, as I said, to the old town. I'm gonna have a look around there. It's always different. You see it from a different perspective when you walk around in the dark. I think it's gonna look quite pretty. So um, with that, I'm gonna hopefully show you a bit of video of the lights in the old town, and then I'm gonna call it a day and get ready for tomorrow. Right, where's my iPhone torch? There we go. That's a bit better. All right, just about 60% of the way down now. And I'm back again. Straight into the back of the old town. Let's get some dinner and have a look around. <laughs> 